Okay, we're going to look at filling a uh, PCP rifle. Uh, in this case, it's the BSA R10. Uh, we'll look at filling it with air using a cylinder. Uh, you can fill your gun using a stirrup pump. Um, it's, it can be hard work that, but again, out in the field, a stirrup pump's ideal. You don't need to get bringing a heavy bottle with you. These bottles can be expensive as well, these can be a few hundred pounds um, and obviously quite heavy to carry about. Syrup pumps are considerably cheaper. These bottles give you dry air, which is important. You do want dry air because um, dampness in the air can cause damage to your gun eventually in the long term. Now my fill probe for the gun, I keep in this plastic bag. Um, it's got seals on it which are coated in with a silicone lubricant. Um, so this plastic bag protects everything else from getting the silicone on it. Uh, a few things to be careful of. Number one, the gauge on the gun is not usually as accurate as the gauge on your bottle. This gun takes 232 bar. I put a piece of tape over that clock so when the needle gets to that, even without glasses on or whatever, I can see quite clearly when it gets got to pressure. If you put your air too fast into a gun, it will get hot, the air. Hot air will register as being a lot more pressure than cold air. So you might fill your gun up, think you've got your 200 bar or 300 bar, whatever you're putting in your gun, and once it cools down, you realize you haven't got that. So always release your air slowly from the bottle into the gun. There's a valve on the bottle here. Simply unscrew and tighten again. You do have a similar valve on a stirrup pump and that will release the pressure out of the pipe when we come to release the, take the gun off. It's very important that we don't forget to use that afterwards. This here is a quick fill um, adapter. It's just a little collar here that pushes back and you hold it back, push your adapter in and that's now ready. That fill probe is now ready to go in your gun. To release it, again you pull back and that'll just pull out. Okay, very simple. So you have to find on your gun where this is going to go. On the BSA, like most guns, or a lot of guns, it's underneath, and here there's a blank. That just pulls out. See that? Pushes in there, pulls out again. And that is also where the gauge is there. So that's the blank that comes out, and that just protects the gun from getting dirt and rubbish in it. So Pull back the collar, push my fill probe in, there. Now firmly push this into the gun until it stops, there. Nice and positive action. So we're all connected up, and all I've got to do now is release air from here into using the big valve here, this big valve. You might hear it whistling and making noise as it goes in, but really slowly as you do it. When you first turn on, you'll see it jump up, and it'll jump up to the level of the air that's in the gun, and you can let the air fill in. And it's normal, almost full, this is not, it's not going to take a great deal. So I'll turn the valve on. Now you can it whistling in, so just do it very slowly, so it goes up to the 230. Almost there, and there. So I'll now turn it off. So there's no air flow in now, but there's still pressure in this pipe, so I can't pull this out yet. I need to release the air in the pipe with this valve, if you listen. That's now released. I'll tighten that up now for next time I use it. Then all I've got to do now, pull the fill probe out. Now if you're at a shooting club, don't go away now and leave this thing at the club. Okay, this costs you about 10 or 12 pounds. Pull back the collar, release that not forgetting to put your dust cover back into the gun. That clicks in nicely. Place that back in the plastic bag. And now that goes back in the gun bag or my wallet or wherever I want to keep it. And that's the gun now full. And just to just check on the gun there, and it does actually show it on the 232 bar on the gauge. You see that? Just before the red zone. Now unlike a car petrol tank where red would be empty, Red on these tends to be where you're getting up to the maximum amount. 
So that's the gun filled. Do be careful, take your time. And if you've not done it before, if you've got a gun club, just ask somebody. Ask somebody to show you, take you through it. Any questions, just ask.